What up? I forgot to record. I've been in here all day, so. Well, not all day, but a long time. So, what we got done today? So, I ordered a bunch of stuff from VIP Bar Supply. Uh, I got, you know, uh, sharps containers, stuff like that. Uh, I got a whole bunch of stuff from VIP. I said I brought a lot of my stuff here. I got the hot towel warmer. Got to put a shelf here for the hot towel warmer. Towels. There's a whole bunch of stuff from VIP. You got just neck strips and sanitizers and top powders and andies and string razor blades and a bunch of bunch of stuff. The electrician came and got that plug in there. I gotta turn around, it looks like shit, but uh, he got that plug put in there. And bam, we got our lighting on the ceiling. He put the, he put the um, plugs in the ceiling and I ran the lights. It's really bright in here, uh, real good. Plus the ring lights will be real good, so. Uh, I mean, I like it. I did it like that so it can just be on the actual studs. <coughs> I didn't do them in there. And <coughs> I think it looks pretty good. I put wheels on the station so I can push them around. And now I'm doing the dreaded tape the trim. So I can paint all the trim. I got to touch up some stuff. I had to sand some things. Uh, what else did we get? Oh, yeah, we got our open sign. We got our open sign. Let me just plug it in and see if it works. Oh, let me get a plug. Picked up our open sign from the ceiling. All right, let me see if I can get it to work and see if it turns on. All right, and then, all right, so we got our open sign. Let's see how it looks out here, see how bright it is. Oh, it's real bright. Yeah, look at that. All right, let me turn it off while people think the barbershop's open. So we got our open sign on, turn it off. All right, we got that, we got a barbershop sign up there. Uh, what else did we get done? I got my vac right here. This is one of them vacs you sweep up and it sucks stuff up. The vac is there. Like I got the paint here, the red and blue paint, because I'm going to paint a barber pole up there all the way around. I might paint a whole barber pole coming down. I'm not sure, but I'm going to definitely paint a barber pole coming around there. I got one of the ring lights in here just for light, but sharps containers and got the wheels on the stations. Strop hanging up. Those of you old school know what a strop is. Uh, yeah, so I got, just brought a bunch of my stuff in here. I've been sweeping up, cleaning up. So that's pretty much what we got done right now. So what I'm going to do is uh, talk to you guys real quick about what happened with the barber chairs. So let me get a beer and I'll be right back. All right. So talk a little about, about what happened with the barber chairs. So, I was looking for barber chairs like crazy, and I couldn't find none. None are in stock, all right? And if some are in stock, it will only be like one, not four, okay? So, I finally found four. I had a list of different ones I wanted, okay? And it went from price down to what I would settle for. So the ones I really wanted, I couldn't get. Then it got down to price and I settled. I said, you know what? I'm going to settle for uh, a barber chair. I'll put a picture of it right here. I said, okay, I'm going to settle for those. They're like $865 a piece. Ordered a barber pub, talking to the people. They're like, yeah, it's going to ship out today, this and that. All right. I go to work, six in the morning, I get an email. Uh, we're sorry, Mr. Santana. We can only get one year chairs. The rest of them are out of stock. We'll send you the one chair. Right there, I was like, the one chair. Yeah, pissed off. So here's how I'm gonna compare. Well, they said, we'll send you the one chair and we'll refund you the rest of the money, the rest are out of stock. 
So let's just do a comparison here. Say you are ordering a furniture couch set for your living room. You know, a couch set comes with a love seat, a sofa, recliner, and a cloth table. Now you got this whole set that matches. But if they tell you, hey man, uh, all we got in this uh, recliner, the rest of the stuff we can't get refund your money, you're gonna say no, no, because I can't find the rest of the parts nowhere else, and I'm not gonna mitch match my damn living room. So I got on the phone with them, I just got pissed off, started screaming, yelling. Eventually we came to an agreement. They didn't give me no discount, hooked me up for nothing, nothing for my troubles, nothing, 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 no, nothing, nothing. The girl was apologetic, very apologetic. The guy that works for a bar or pub, useless. He's useless as, a, he's useless as what's he as useless as? Hmm, let's see. Um, tits on a boar hog? Yeah, he knows nothing. So I had to call the corporate office. Talk to lady named Lucy, very nice lady. Her last name is Santana, also like mine, so that was cool. Just came down to it that I just had to suck it up and get more expensive chairs because they had four of a more expensive chair. So it cost me $500 more to get four chairs that were a little same exact chair. They're all the same exact chair. It's just different colors. You know, or you can get the gold and who the hell wants gold? Like, who wants gold on their chair? Like, what am I, Shaws of Sunset? Like, who the heck wants that crap? So I got one that was, I'll put a picture of it right here. Uh, bronze frame and black. So, it'll go okay because my mirrors are, have a black frame around them. And there's a lot of black stuff in the shop. All the, you know, little black things. So, whatever. When you buy these chairs, you need to call and make sure that they have these chairs in stock. Because I'm telling you, man, you'll pay the money. I got so pissed. I told him, I said, listen, what if I have four barbers? I need to work May 1st. So that means that one barber can cut hair and the rest of the people sit on crates. Yeah. I was really pissed. I had a really rough day. But anyway, I got it set up where I'm getting four different chairs. Uh, they're 700 pound capacity, 20 inches wide. They go up seven inches, very nice chairs. I knew I was gonna have to suck it up and pay a little bit more. Cause I noticed the, the old school style chairs that I like, they range anywhere from good ones, 850 to 1500, maybe 2100, just depending. They're all the same damn chair. All these chair companies, okay, they don't stock the chairs. They are just a person that's in a house with a computer and says, I'm a chair company and I order from China. They all get it from the same place. Now the differences I've noticed, the differences are the pumps. And you can't really tell the difference in the pump, but some say the pump goes up seven inches, some say the pump goes up four inches, some say the pump goes up five inches. Some say the chair can handle 300 pounds. Some say the chair can handle four. So I've said a trick can handle five. My trick can handle 700 pounds. I really don't think I'm cutting a 700 pound guy. Because a 700 pound guy cannot fit in a 20 inch wide chair. But with that said, I'm not making fun of anybody for being overweight. I used to be overweight, so it's, it was just an analogy just talking about it. But um, 20 inch wide chairs. So the width is one thing. So a lot of the cheaper chairs, they're like, 17 wide, 18 wide, and then they only go up three inches. So you have to look at those things. That's what changes the price in the chairs. They're all the same chair. It's just the width is a little different. The height is a little bit different, but anyway. So we got no chairs coming from Bar Pub. So that's the end of my rant on that. So what I'm gonna finish doing today is I'm gonna get all the trim taped off. Once, well, at least in the barbershop room. I'm gonna get all the trim taped off in the barbershop room. And I'm gonna go probably have a cigar. Then I'm going to paint the trim in the barbershop room, then touch up all the paint in the barbershop room and be done. Then uh, start taping up all the trim in the bathroom and in this shampoo room and paint that. I want to try to get all the trim painted, so we'll see where it goes. But I'm going to finish drinking this beer. You guys stay tuned. We ordered our stuff from VIP Barber Supply, got our hot towel warmer, got a bunch of things. So uh, stay tuned, we'll get it going. All right, I'm tired. So for today, I got, got the trim, the coat on it, and I messed up, and I bought like a, I bought a friggin' oil base. Sucks. My brushes are all shot, because I have nothing to clean oil base with. 
So I'm just gonna put another coat of these in oil base, in oil base and I'm gonna get some more water-based stuff for the rest of the trim because it's a pain in the butt, man. It takes forever to drive. I mean, it looks shiny as all heck, but it's just, the barbershop will have it in gloss and the other rooms will have it in like a lighter color. So I gotta get new brushes tomorrow. More paint, a light for in there and some shelving. So that's it for today. I'm packing up and I'm going home. You know, we got just so much stuff done. It's got a touch of paint, it just takes forever, but all right, I'm just gonna continue this video to tomorrow. Stay tuned. All right, what are we up to now? So, uh, trim in the barbershop area is painted. Probably gonna get another coat on it. Uh, starting to get the barber pole done up there. See, I got it taped off and getting the colors. It's a watercolor, so it just takes, well, it looks like crap, but it's just taped off. And I pull the tape, the lines will be all straight. Getting that done. Man, got a shelf up in here for the hot towel warmer. Uh, put a plug to the hot towel warmer. I uh, actually put another shelf in here, this gangster cut, a third shelf to go up in there to hold everything. And I got that shelf up. I got this trim starting to get taped up. I'm gonna paint all this trim. I finished taping that up. And I'm gonna paint all this trim. Paint that trim. And then I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue the barber pole going through here. Probably not. I might put a, a saying up there or something, whatever. Uh, I still gotta touch up stuff like this and this because I had this here and it was crooked so I have to jack it up. Uh, but I'm gonna try to get this room, I'm gonna try to get the shampoo room done today. Like all the paint done. So I'm gonna get the shampoo room done. If that's the goal for the shampoo room done. Then once the shampoo room is done, uh, I don't know if I need another coat on this baseboard in here. It's shiny. I don't know what I did, man. I went and bought some Rust-Oleum, right? Dude, this stuff is so shiny. It's like, it's like a piano finish. And it was oil-based, so I jacked up and I just, I didn't have the right stuff to clean it. Now I have the right stuff to clean it. So all the baseboard in the barber shop itself, the shop area is gonna be the high gloss. High gloss is good too, because when the hair falls on it, it'll just blow right off. Versus like, you know, something that's like a semi-gloss. But once I get that all done, I'm gonna touch all this up again, then clean this whole place up, push all the stations back. Then I'm gonna start uh, in here, I'm gonna start taping up, taping up all this trim on the bottom, paint this trim, get this door painted. And then once I, oh yeah, I gotta paint this sill too right here. I gotta paint that sill, take those wires, put them up there. And once I get that all painted, I'll pretty much have the painting done in here. You know, we got our lighting up, so we're good on that. So that's where we're at right now. So I'm gonna, I'll get back to you when I pull all this stuff off and get some more painting done. All right, where we're at. Uh, I got in the video of some of the work I've been doing in the shop. We got a lot of painting done. I got a bunch of couches in the back. I got one uh, set of couches that I just picked up. They're brand new and I got them cheap, cheap, cheap. And I got another couch I'm picking up that's brand new. I'm getting cheap, cheap, cheap. So I'm going to the shop right now to drop off these couches, put them in the shop. Then at 12.30, I gotta go pick up the other couches I got. Uh, I got the TVs put up in the shop. Uh, TVs are in, uh, I'll put up a video of that. And I'll get the other couch, a little bit of trim painting. I need a display case and a, like a dining room but not a dining room, like a little table, coffee table, and I think I'll be done with that room. And I'm coming in under budget because I spent, I had a $500 budget, you remember I said for these couches. I spent 200 on this set right here, 100 on the other set, that's 300 bucks. And I'll probably spend, a, that's 300 bucks. I spent 100 on the TV, 150, so that's 450. And if I spent 50 more bucks on the coffee table, 500 bucks. So I'll be right on budget on that. So that works out good. So stay tuned. I'm headed to the shop to drop this stuff off. Out. Sitting on the couches you got in the shop. Let's just take a look at them. All right, here we go. Let me flip the camera. So we got our couches here. Yeah, they don't match, but I got them cheap and they're nice and comfy. Like you could actually sit there and relax and see it's comfy. Uh, I got a little decorative stuff on the wall there. It looks pretty cool. But I um, got the two couches here. I'm going to actually pick up a coffee table and an end table. 
And then right there, I'm going to put a fridge with chips and snacks and stuff for sale. Here's gonna be a display cabinet with product. Uh, we got one flat screen TV on the wall. See right there, we got some wall art on. Still got a mess of stuff here. Uh, and then the shop wise, we're still working in here, so it's kind of a mess. We got another TV up in the corner right there. Uh, we got our little barber pole painted up there. Barbershop sign up there, looks pretty darn cool. Got our stations, it's just a mess because we're still working in here, but uh, got our station, this is gonna be my station right here. But got our stations, got our portable vac. This is one of these vacuums where when you sweep, it automatically sucks the hair in, so that's gonna be good. I'm gonna put a table right here, so I can put the hot towel warmer on top of that. And then I need to get a table for here, so I can put the point of sale when you charge people and stuff, so I gotta get a table for there. Um, and my, like I said, my other station's in the house, we know that already. Uh, TV up. Uh, this room's pretty much done. See, we got the shelf, the cabinet. Uh, the plumber actually came and connected the hot water heater. So, um, the hot water heater is connected. That's good. And put some more supplies in here. We have that stuff. The bathroom's there. You've already seen the bathroom. Uh, just, you know, just getting some decor up. Make it a place look pretty good. And I gotta zip tie all these wires and stuff in the ceiling. I need to make them all neat. Just gotta zip tie it, but you know, that's actually getting out of here. There's no room for it in here, but uh, we're getting there. Gotta clean the floors and I need to paint the rest of the trim in here. This is the last room we're working on. So we're supposed to go in a little bit and get the coffee table and the end table. And I have to paint all this this baseboard all the way around. I got to paint that door, paint the trim around the door, all that baseboard. And I got to touch up this stuff. I need to run a nice line of white going down here. Clean that up. Uh, we got brand new TVs, man. These are pretty cool. Bought these at a yard sale. I'm probably going to put uh, historic stuff here. I'm probably going to put maybe like uh, Welcome to Ridge Manor on the bottom and a couple historic pictures from Ridge Manor, I guess. Just something historic up there. Uh, we got our little bell. I love these things. Like when you open the door. Let me see. Okay, you hear the bell? I like that. Pretty cool. Uh, but that's where we're at for now. So, you know, when you sit in the shop, this is from sitting in the shop. You're just sitting here and you see right in the window. You can see station to see the barbers cutting so our work's pretty good yeah, yeah, yeah.